but it's Joe Dibley. And I have been thinking a lot about what the cost is when we decide to stay and do nothing different, but yet we expect a different result. And today I have Sue Ferreira with me, who is really someone who is all about reinvention and how she's changed her own life and what we've both done along the way to ensure that we continue to develop. But Sue, I'd love you to share your thoughts on what it looks like when we don't invest in ourselves and what you've learned through coaching programs. Okay, so uh, I'd love to do that. And I'll give you a bit of backstory. Some of you may know it, but I was a physician for 45 years, an anesthesiologist. And coming to the end of that, that career, because frankly, the nights were beginning to kill me and I couldn't do them so well in my 60s, but I knew I would never, ever retire. I, for me, it just isn't. It isn't an option. I love people. I love doing things. So I reinvented my world to this world of becoming basically a video marketer and everyone goes, uh, really? How come? But I began to realize I've always been um, very interested in technology and, and where we're going in this world. And I knew that we're in this unbelievable time right now. You know, we talk about the Renaissance in the past and the Enlightenment as times of change. Those are going to like, like little pimples on on the world compared with what we're going into right now. And who knows, mm -hmm. age of knowledge, age of information, who knows what it's going to be called. We are in this incredible, rapidly changing world. And I realized that you, you really to survive, and I don't mean to physically to survive, but, but to, to thrive, maybe that's a better word, in this future that we're going into, and we're just on the beginning of, we need to, we need to embrace the change that's coming or else, mm -hmm. frankly, we just get left in the dust. Mm -hmm. And I knew that technology was a lot of the part of this. And I also knew that tech is something women especially hate mm -hmm. and are not happy with. And yet it's, it's an area I'm very comfortable with. So I transformed my life into helping women, women, business women really move into this new and rapidly expanding world that we're in comfortably, simply. Mm -hmm easily magic words no overwhelm so that's why i am here with joe now and we both know that if you're going to embrace this world this new world and be happy you got to learn and you have to learn i knew from the beginning i had to learn from the best in the world mm -hmm. and so for four or five years now i have been in high level masterminds in the united states because frankly that's where this pulse is coming from of technology and and the world of the web um, so I've been in several masterminds and invested, you know, a fair amount of money because I know that if I'm going to do this effectively, I have to learn from the best. And, mm -hmm. and I've come to know that every single person in this world needs a mentor going into this world. You need to find someone who's already been there, already done that, and is still doing it and can help you move forward. So that's why I, um, why I'm doing what I'm doing and why I work a lot with Joe, which for me is an absolute pleasure because we have the same mindset. We know that you, we've really got to move forward and there ain't no sitting on the tush anymore. It's movement. And that's, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing and I love every minute of it. I, I totally agree. And in terms of what you provide to, in, you know, I, I often talk about this on Frog Talk Television is if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have launched Frog Talk Television because I did have the overwhelm myself. It wasn't until I met you and saw the possibilities of how we could do something like this to bring the message on a bigger scale. And like yourself, I've worked with mentors. I mean, I remember back in 1997, I had my first mentor and it just hit me the other day because back then it wasn't it wasn't viewed the same way, but I've had mentors in my life since 1997. And I believe, and I've seen it over and over again, success requires implementation of new teachings. You need access, you need collaboration, you need community, you need the knowledge and the know-how. And why I believe people move from, you know, they fall into that best kept secret mode instead of being the success or the go-to person in the marketplace is because they're not getting out of their office or getting out of the mindset they're in. Because you can be out of your office somewhere and still not be prepared. 
And, you know, this is why we do our live events is to bring together people that are sharing. And Sue, you are so generous with what you share. I know for someone who's like myself, who had a corporate background, so similar, you know, we walk similar paths. I mean, most people, it wasn't that long ago. Wasn't it only five years ago? It was Freedom 55. Well, yep. I'm here to tell you, I'm turning 55 in May. And freedom, to me, means doing what I love, being surrounded by people that are like-minded, and that we're doing something to make this place better. Whether it's your family or, you know, your, your relationships, whether they're work or what have you, or it's your business, or it's overall just developing yourself and taking yourself to the next level. This is why I do what I do. And I look at Sue, who's a huge, I mean, massive inspiration for me because I think 45 years, she's done her time if we look at that. But now she's bringing her wisdom and turning and helping others turn their wisdom into wealth. Listen, if you're sitting on the fence and you're wondering, we're bringing all of our coaching knowledge, all of the things that we've been taught that I know have, it's, we're talking hundreds of thousands when it's all worked out and the time invested. We're bringing it to you because we want you to have the same access we have. And so here's the question I want to leave you with. What is the real cost of you not doing what you need to do? That's the real question. Everything else will fall into place. I had a boss one time. He said, Joe, if you do the right things, the money will follow. And you know what? It's true. It's not just about money, though. It's about your life. It's about your relationship. And it's about what kind of ripple you create in the world. So we invite you to join us. And Sue, would you like to have any more parting words before we sign off? Yeah, I, I, I would. I, I just... I just know that everything you've said there, Joe, is true. And I, I mean, I know that the web is, is, is not, it's not something it would be nice. It's not something I would like to. And video specifically, uh, in one of my talks, I talk about the fact that we're already 70, over 70% 70 of web traffic is now video and it's going up. And we reckon with, you know, with by three years, it's going to be over 85%. And Video is, again, not just something that would be nice, it's necessary. And if I can take anyone from, from the smaller world um, where you're just one-to-one -one or one-to-a-few into this larger world using video, oh, I mean, I get a hell of a kick from it. I love it. I love seeing people mm -hmm. realize they can do it and then they literally pick up and run with it. And, and, I, and I agree with you, Joe. It, it's just such a wonderful way of expanding who you are Mm -hmm. And and we have learned a lot. And the, the cool thing is Joe and I have been in masterminds together. So we're on the same page. We know exactly where we're going. And uh, um, we love to take people there with us. So that's what we're going to do. Well, I can't wait. So if you haven't had a chance to register yet, we still have a few seats left. And so join us. Our next event is in Tynamara. Uh, at the beautiful number one resort in, on Vancouver Island. And listen, it's a bonus because you're going to get professional, personal, and business development all in one place. And man, your soul will be charged. So we can't wait to see you. Until then, have a Frockalicious Day. Signing up for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>